Good morning, everybody. Actually, it's not morning, totally lying. It's afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's day one of lockdown in the UK. So, see how that goes. Ironically, it's just the most beautiful day. Clear blue skies, just like a proper spring, you know, start of a spring day. It's just gorgeous. Anyway, update. Um, I'm okay. I'm okay. I did go out for a brief walk yesterday. I got so freaked out that uh, I had to come back again. Um, there was just too many people walking, not keeping their distance and you know, kids playing and people on bicycles. And I just thought I can't actually cope with this. I'd rather just throw my windows open and sit by the window uh, and do some exercise inside. So uh, I've done some yoga with Adrian this morning. I'm half an hour of yoga with Adrian, which was actually more difficult than I thought it would be. <laughs> My voice is, you know, will I ever get it back properly? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. I've got a bit more colour in my cheeks, so that's good, isn't it? And I have managed to procure myself a delivery of vegetables and some meat from a local farm shop. So I think they're delivering the vegetables today. And I think they're delivering the meat tomorrow. My next door neighbour was lovely and she also um, stocked up on some vegetables for me. So um, she gave me those last night through the window. And we had a little chat through the glass, which was nice. And today we used a thing called House Party uh, online. And we had like a three-way chat, me and my two other friends. So that was nice. That was really nice. So um, <laughs> obviously there's nothing going on today. Um, I'm supposed to go to the doctors to pick up a letter, but um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do that because I really don't want to go out at all for the next three months. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. My next door neighbor, one of my next door neighbors who I haven't actually met um, before, um, she only moved in recently. She left a note. Um, in everybody's uh, doors I think yesterday saying that if anybody needed anything she was willing to help but I feel guilty I feel really guilty asking people to help me when there's others who are way more in need you know so I don't I don't know I might text her and say look <coughs> if you are going out at any point today be great or, or in the next week you know but I don't know so this morning for breakfast, I had a bagel with some <coughs> butter and bovril on. I had a bath, a nice bath, and um, slapped lots of stuff on or stuff on my face. I'm so dry. God, so dry. So I'm not, I'm not, I mean, there's no point putting any makeup on. There's absolutely no point. So and my just face is so dry. I, however many times I slap something on my face, it just doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to help. But um you need to just keep going with that, I suppose. The cat's already been in and she's now out, although I think she wants to come back in again, but do her good to be outside and get some fresh air. She doesn't know how lucky she is at the moment, being able to be outside like that. More washing to do, constant washing, and I'm just about to cook some lunch. So my lovely next door neighbour brought me some asparagus yesterday. So I'm going to have asparagus with a fried egg on top with some shavings of parmesan. How posh does that sound for a quarantine meal? So that's great. So I'm really looking forward to eating some, some fresh veg. Really looking forward to it. And tonight I'm going to roast an aubergine and um, make some little roast potato-y type things. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I've missed fresh vegetables so much. I've had like frozen veg for the last four or five days and I'm sick to death of sweet corn peas or spinach. So, yeah, my chest is still not, not right, but... Um, you know, a lot of it might be stress, you know, stress and diaphragmatic tightness. I'm not really sure. Um, still taking steroids. So we'll see how we go. See how we go. I mean, it's a lot better than it was. So we're, we're going the right way, aren't we? So that's good. Yesterday, Mrs. Crazy Bad Lady told me that I had to paint a picture, which filled me with dread. <laughs> because I haven't painted anything for many, many years. And turns out the paintbrushes that I've got are useless they're really cheap they came from Tiger that shop Tiger and they're not they're just really 
they're just really bad like they're not finished properly so they you can't get a, a proper line because it's all out of it's not they're just crap quality basically but um anyway so i did paint one and i'm going to put it in the window and hopefully it'll inspire people to stay safe and stay strong what am i going to do for the rest of the day the choices the choices still don't really feel up to the flute but i should really because maybe it'll help regulate my breath i don't know i'm still contemplating that one still contemplating i can hear people outside that's what i painted a little stay strong painting so i'm going to stick that in my window so that kids can spot it and um, people can spot it and i just think it's a nice colorful painting to stick in the window we all need a bit of a smile don't we to these days of hell so i've got my asparagus ready to boil they're only going to take about three minutes and i'll do my little um fried egg and stick it on a plate and scoff it cannot wait cannot wait to eat this. It looks absolutely delicious. Whilst potentially valuable, these gold bars are... Well, that was lovely. I enjoyed that. I could have eaten a ton more. But um, never mind. I'm going to have a cup of tea and some rich tea biscuits, I think. They're quite good on the old tummy, aren't they? Uh, just had a phone call from the farm shop. They're going to deliver in 25 minutes. So I'm going to have lots of fresh veg. I haven't been given a price for anything um, he's just said that they're trying to make it as fair as possible but I guess um, you know you've got to have food haven't you so we'll see how much I'm charged for it all to see if I'm going to do it again because you know money is tight just making myself a nice cup of tea I'm having this looks a bit dodgy doesn't it it's got nothing on it it's called mountain tea I got it in Greece when I was with mum, here it is, I got um, two, because we tried it when we were on the cooking, uh, if you haven't watched the cooking video, uh, when we went on the Greek holiday with the Greek mummers, uh, we were given this um, mountain tea in the hotel and we loved it, it's all herbs, organic herbs, good for the circulation and cardiovascular system, so it's worth a go isn't it, I've got two packets of this to get through. So I might as well start drinking it, methinks. Because I've run out of yogi tea. Mm. Ah, so the guy said that I need to put in a big order. So I put in a big order. Um, fish fingers in there. Raspberries. Bananas. Lemon. Ketchup. Garlic mayonnaise. I mean, this is going to cost a fortune, this stuff, isn't it? That's probably why it's so expensive. Never mind. What are you doing? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mushrooms. Onions. Crikey. Okay. <laughs> I've got loads now. Oh my goodness, I better get eating. So I'm now overloaded with vegetables. It goes from one to the other. Uh, overloaded with vegetables. I ordered like three large potatoes and a couple of sweet potatoes, expecting them to be normal sized. And what's turned up is like, this is the size of my head. So, um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Look at the size of these things. This is a sweet potato. And even the baking potatoes are huge. So, and the onions, everything's like giant. Um, so I was expecting like normal sized vegetables. So now I've got too much. So now I'm thinking, God. So now I'm thinking maybe I should make a vegetarian shepherd's pie. And 
but I freeze it. So I've got that. Um, so I might do that. I might do that now. So I've got some mushrooms as well. Um, leeks, loads of broccoli. So I think, yeah, first thing I'll do, I think it's going to make a make a shepherd's pie that I can freeze. Use up some of these massive potatoes. Yeah, next next delivery is going to be a lot less. So that came to fifty six seventy, but I'm I'm not sure if that included if that includes the meat that I'm getting tomorrow. Sheesh. Um, they gave me like this black tea, which I didn't ask for. I wanted yogi tea if they had it, and they've put in these instead. So quite like to give those back really, because I've got enough tea, black tea in my cupboard. Yeah, interesting. Very interesting. I'm a bit overwhelmed. <sighs> Into the kitchen with you. Humongous vegetable box. Right. Oh dear. Okay, so I need an onion, I need a couple of carrots. I don't know if courgette, I could put courgette in it. No, save those. Uh, mushrooms. Yeah. <sighs> I need to make a shepherd's pie now. It's not like I've got anything else to do, so it's fine. Just wasn't quite expecting that amount. So my vegetarian mix, uh, mix, <laughs> mince mix is all is all done and cooked. That's fine. And my potatoes are cooking for the topping. Um, I think I'm going to make a leek and potato soup. I've never made a leek and potato soup, but I'm sure it's fine because I've just got so much veg <laughs> now, and I don't want to waste any of it. So if I've got the shepherd's pie in the freezer, and I can also freeze soup, so that's you know really good, and you can have it every day for for lunch, which is a good option. So I'm going to make a leek and potato soup. I just need to Google a recipe. Couldn't make it up, could you? So I've bought this brand new um, potato masher from TK Maxx by a company called Sabatia. And look, first time I've used it and it's come apart. So I'm hoping it's gonna just slot back together, but that's really pants. Luckily, I haven't thrown the other one away, which was pants as well, but at least didn't fall apart. I've made a bit of a dent in the old vegetable box now, so that's good. So I've got two um, vegetarian shepherd's pies here for the freezer. I've got some of the 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 mix, the mince, uh, vegetarian mince there that I'm going to freeze and I can put that on top of pasta. And I've got some leftover mash that I'm going to have tonight with some leftover pheasant. So I've moved on to soup now. <laughs> so I'm doing leek and potato, leek and sweet potato soup. Never made it before, but I'm doing a Delia Smith online. So there's some butter in there, some sweet potatoes, onion and leeks. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. That is some, um, um, that's the water that I used to cook the asparagus in. I thought that would be good to add to the stock to, um, to make the soup later. Waste not, want not and all that jazz. So, uh, Yes, that's what I'm currently doing. So that's got to sweat down now for 15 minutes apparently and then we go to the next step. Stock. So the soup's been boiling for 20 minutes so now I have to um, liquidise it and hope that it turns into soup. I'm going to use my hand blender and see if that does the job. We'll see. If not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> working right I have blitzed it it's kind of a coarse textured soup that's fine I'm gonna try it let's see now Ooh, scary mm. that's really good mm. really good 
happy with that happy with that i'm going to let it cool and then i'm going to put a mug of it in the fridge so that i can have that for lunch tomorrow and the rest of it will go in the freezer i think Okay, so it is 7.56 in the evening, <laughs> made it through another day. All I've done is really cook and um, talk to people, which has been quite nice. been talking a lot on telephone and TV's on the background, sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to get my supper ready now. So I'm going to have my leftover pheasant, some broccoli and some of the mash that I made that I've got left over. And hopefully eat it because I haven't been eating much in the evenings, haven't felt hungry in the evenings at all really apart from like a digestive biscuit you know some sugar and a cup of tea like comfort stuff but um i'm gonna try and have a nice supper now there's the rest of the pheasant i'm going to make a stock with the bones I've got the, the leftover water from the steamed broccoli and bits of broccoli and I'll add an onion as well and I'll boil it all up and I'll make a nice little stock. And here's my soup. My soup's ready for tomorrow in there and then that one will probably go to freeze or I might just keep it I have some more the next day. And there we are, that's my food for tonight. So I'm gonna sit down and enjoy those fresh vegetables. That's me in bed, everybody. It's currently half past ten. <laughs> I'm going to bed so early. Uh, well, I'm getting into bed early, but I'm not actually going to sleep early. I'm usually just, you know, relaxing in bed and watching stuff on my iPad, YouTube, all those sorts of things. But obviously, you know, I'm in bed and I have got my trusty hot water bottle, which I have every night. And I've got a cup of herbal tea and I've got my bottle of squash. So I'm sorted. I'm sorted for hopefully a good night's sleep and uh, to rerun. It's Groundhog Day. <laughs> rerun the day again and again and again. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope all that cooking and chopping wasn't too tediously boring. And I hope you've had a reasonable day and you're keeping your chin up as well. And I'll speak to you soon. So night night and sleep well. Thinking of you all.